Hey everyone, and welcome to a new video where we are going to show you how to do 3D attenuation with Unity and FMOD. Just a quick little demo of what we're going to be doing. We have our character here, and then we have two little zones here, which is going to represent our 3D attenuation. You'll see if we go into this left one over here, we get a crowd sound, and it actually attenuates based off of the fall off distance that you have here. So at this, when we're inside of this visual representation of our attenuation, you can hear it just a tiny bit. And as we move closer, you can hear it get louder. And in the center, it's going to be at its loudest. And then we have another one here that is just a simple bird ambience. And it works the exact same way. We're going to be showing two different ways to do 3D attenuation with FMOD and Unity. So to start off, we are going to show off our FMOD session. All that we have is two different ambiences. We have a crowd cheering and a bird ambience. To do this, all we did was right click and add a loop region, and this just loops our sound effect. So when it goes to the end of this, You can see it starts back at the beginning seamlessly. And then here's our crowd cheer sound. For simplicity's sake, we're gonna start off by showing the easy way to do this with our crowd cheer sound. The easy way to do this is to go to FMOD, hit File, Build, go to Unity, and then we have our FMOD events here, which we can obviously copy our crowd cheer sound. Go to our event, you hit Add Component and type in Event emitter and then this is where we get this script here and then you just paste in the same line that you have here you copy the string this full path here and you're just putting it into this event input and then you can override the attenuation and change the attenuation here and I can just match this to whatever size I feel is necessary obviously in a video game I'm not gonna have this visual representation I created this visual representation myself but in the space of a game, you can make it way bigger or smaller and change it depending on where your audio listener is. Then we can also change the minimum, so I can make it a lot bigger than just where the small blue circle is, and it'll get much louder as we get closer to the circle instead of... So it gets much louder much, much faster. But just for the sake of example, we're going to leave it here. And if we want to change out our event, we can just choose a different event, hit copy here and paste, and now we have our bird ambient sound in place. And then lastly, you need to make sure that you have this set to object start, or you can even do trigger enter if you choose. And you can also set this to be a uh, trigger exit as well. You just have to have a collision tag um, that detects the tag of the object that it is colliding with. But this is pretty simple. We can just leave this to object start because we don't really need it to be too complex here. We can have it on object start. The only reason you would want to do anything else is if you're trying to save memory and voice count within FMOD. So moving on, we have our other way of creating a 3D attenuation sound, and that is through scripting. You see here that I have a script called bird ambience, and this is relatively simple as well. All that you need to do is you need to create a public string called bird sounds. And you can see we have bird sounds as a public string variable here, which I simply just copied the fmod event in the same exact way as before. And now that string is being referenced by bird sounds anytime we want to work with that specific sound. And then we're also creating an fmod studio event instance called bird sounds event. So anytime we're going to be manipulating or targeting any parameters within the event of the bird ambience, we will use bird sounds event. And right here in start, this is at the start of the script. You can see the comment here, start is called on frame one. And we have the bird sounds event. We're saying that equal to fmod unity runtime manager, and it's creating an instance of our sound effect bird sounds. So you create an instance and then you input the argument of bird sounds, which is our string, 
and this is going to create an instance. You can think of it as a container that bird sounds event is being created in. And then if we want to start the event container, because it's now in existence, we just type in bird sounds event dot start. And then if we want to attenuate it to the proper position, we just put fmod unity dot runtime manager dot attach instance to game object. And then it takes three arguments. It takes bird sounds event and bird sounds event is our event that was created earlier and then get component transform. So it's actually getting the transform right here. So it's getting the exact location of our sound effect. And then it's getting a rigid body, which is basically detecting the physics right here. And then we have it playing. And if you want to change the minimum and maximum attenuation distance, you can just go back to fmod, you can change the fmod minimum and maximum attenuation distance there. Anyways, thank you so much for watching everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you think this video is helpful for you, because we have a new video coming out every week relating to anything game audio. And if you want to learn more fmod and Unity and sound creation, check out our free course on blipsounds.com. And if you're looking for other places to keep up with us, check out our Twitter account, at blipsounds. And also be sure to check out our Discord server in the description below at invite.gg slash blipsounds. So anyways, catch you in the next video.